Hello, Booktube, and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. Well, once again, I'm filming this right before bedtime, so I'm going to do my best to keep this short and sweet because I've got to get to sleep. Uh, it's been another busy week, although I did actually have some free time this afternoon, uh, which I used to film my review of The Invisible Man by H.G. Wells. I had actually finished this the week before, as I mentioned on last week's weekly reading vlog, uh, but uh, hadn't found the time to sit down and do a re review of it uh, until today. So, got it done in time for Halloween. Uh, I'll link to it in the description down below uh, if, if you haven't seen it yet, but that's, that's uh, my review of The Invisible Man done. Um, and I, I actually do have a bit of a book haul to report on. Uh, went to, uh, was out with the wife and kids yesterday at a shopping mall, uh, Crescent Mall. And uh, we went to the bookstore there and I got another H.G. Wells book, Men Like Gods. Uh, it, it, uh, while I was reading The Invisible Man, I was reminded that I had in mind to catch up more on H.G. Wells. I, I, it's been, I think, almost 10 years ago now that I uh, read The Time Machine and The War of the Worlds and really enjoyed them and had it in mind ever since then to read more of the works of H.G. Wells and just never got around to it. But after really enjoying The Invisible Man, I thought, okay, I, I'm going to keep my eyes open for H.G. Wells books. And sure enough, this was in the bookstore. You know, the uh, the selection is always limited out here in Vietnam, but you, you can find some books. Um, and it was only 53,000 Vietnamese dong, which is like two bucks. So uh, I, I, I figured, what well, why not snatch it up uh, while well, well, it was there? In Vietnam, you always have to snatch books up when you find them because the, I, I don't know, the, the stock of English books in bookstores uh, tends to be very variable. You might see it one day and then never see it again. Now, uh, as to the actual pages I read, uh, I read uh, out of Tarzan 46 pages from page 116 to 162. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a pulp fiction adventure, but it's well done for what it is. Uh, I, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I'm at the part now where uh, Tarzan is meeting Jane, so, so these iconic moments. Although there's no uh, me, Tarzan, you, Jane, at least not yet. Maybe that's coming up in, in the different, in the, in the latter parts of the book. Um, so Jane is here with uh, Clayton, who, uh, who actually is Tarzan's cousin, but they don't know that yet. Clayton... Uh, is the uh, Lord Greystroke now. Actually, the, the hereditary title should go to Tarzan, but since Tarzan's parents disappeared at sea, Clayton has that title. Clayton is in love with Jane, although Jane has also now fallen in love with Tarzan. And they're together with uh, Jane's father uh, and his father's friend. And, and Jane's father is a an aging academic uh, who's uh, Professor Porter, I think his name is, and his friend is uh, Mr. Philander. Um, and uh, Professor Porter and Mr. Philander are portrayed in uh, comic terms like uh, like old bumbling academics would be. So they're they're lost in the jungle. And they're being stalked by tigers uh, or by lions. Uh, and they are arguing over the 15th century conquest of Spain uh, by the Moors. Uh, you know, the, the just classic comic portrayal of these academics. <clears throat> sorry, academics who can't focus on anything practical. Ah. Usually I have a glass of water right next to me, but I, I neglected to fill it up. Um, I'm supposed to be keeping these things short anyways, aren't I? So, so let, let me just wrap that up. I'll, I'll just say that uh, 
it was a little bit, uh, well, not a little bit. It, it's obviously exaggerated for comic effect and maybe a, a bit cliche, uh, but it 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 worked. Uh, you know, the humor beats uh, came where they needed to. I, I'm I had read uh, part of the John Carter series years ago by Edgar Rice Burroughs and came away with the impression of him as a, a bad writer. But uh, th th this book is, is, is not half bad. I mean, it, it's bad in all the predictable ways you would expect it to be, you know, uh, kind of racist and violent and, and you know, not morally edifying. Um, but, you know, in, in terms of the prose style uh, and, and in terms of the, the narrative beats, I, I, I think it's, it's all right. Okay. And then the histories by Herodotus. I uh, read 36 pages of this book this week. Uh, slow going because, you know, as always, fumbling around with the maps and footnotes at the end. But I am making progress. In fact, uh, I, I, will, I will finish this book, I'm sure, by the end of the month. I have just about uh, 30 pages left. Uh, to go till the end. Um, so uh, still in the Greek and Persian Wars, uh, King Xerxes had has fled back to Persia following a naval defeat, but he's left his army with one of his subordinates. Uh, and uh, the, the army commander uh, comes to Athens and makes them a deal and says, Athens, if you join us, We'll, we'll, we'll let you keep your freedom and you can rule over any other Greek states you want uh, if you just help us subjugate the rest of Greece. Um, and then the Spartans send an envoy to the Ath Athenians saying, don't take this deal. Uh, the rest of Greece is depending on you. And uh, the Athenians say, no, we're, we're not going to take the deal. We are too loyal to Greece. Uh, and uh, they say to the Spartans, uh, we're going to fight the Persians together. Now hurry up and come join us. And then the Spartans actually really drag their feet and their army is late coming to join the battle, which, which uh, puts the Athenians in, in a tight spot. Tom Holland in his notes at the back say Herodotus is uh, relying off of pro-Athenian propaganda when writing these sections. Um Herodotus wasn't from Athens. He was from Heliconarsus, which uh, was uh, in, I think it's what now is modern day Turkey. Um, but he, he apparently was using some pro Athenian sources on this. Uh, and then the, there, there are various battles and maneuverings of armies. Um, it has the potential to be boring, but of course, being Herodotus. It's never boring. He's, he's always got all these interesting little side stories, which are probably not true, but, but interesting to read nonetheless. So uh, I'm on the last book now, book nine uh, of Herodotus. We'll, <clears throat> we'll be finally finishing that up. And I got just a couple of pages read of Flash Gordon. Um, the, yeah, uh, you know, I've not made much progress on comic books recently. I guess that's because... I usually read comic books right before bed, and I've been so sleep-deprived lately that I've just been going to bed instead of reading before bed. But uh, I haven't forgotten this. We'll get around to finishing this up someday. It's still, it's still on my nightstand. And, uh, yeah, I'll wrap it up here. That's all for this week. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, I, I did watch some other BookTube videos. I will link to them in the description down below. Uh, the, the different booktube videos I, I've watched. So go check out those links for more booktube materials.